Hello and welcome to DVTV. I'm your host, Connor Mills. We've got a great show for you with some of this year's favorite segments. Leading us off, Dan and Hannah look to stump their contestants and see who knows the birthplace of jazz. Dalval DIY is back and shows us how to make monkey bread. The Win in a Minute crew return with an all new challenging task. They've got gloves, Vaseline, and starbursts. Oh my! And to finish it off, What's on Lot highlights yet another unique car parked here at Dalval. Let's get the show on the road and travel back to the birthplace of jazz. Welcome back to another episode of Stump em. I'm Dan Levinson. And I'm Hannah Cohen. This week we're asking, where was the birthplace of jazz? Do you know? Let's find out. Okay, Wiseburn, where was the birthplace of jazz? Oh, um, Salt Lake City, Utah Jazz. Not quite. Yeah, Salt Lake City, like Utah Jazz. We're not talking about basketball here. All right, I am here with Alex Ferrara. Now, Alex, where was the birthplace of jazz? Utah? No? No, oh, jazz, jazz, I, okay. You want to give us another, another shot? All right, hmm. Jazz music. Jazz music. Don't be like Wiseman, here you said Utah. New, New Orleans, correct. Yeah, what's up? It's just a joke, the first one. No, it wasn't. I am here with my good old <laughs> pal, Marcella. So, where is the birthplace of jazz? New Orleans? That's right! All right, I'm here with Mr. Lynch and his phenomenal juice box. Yeah, apple juice is delicious. What a, what a guy. Question, where was the birthplace of jazz? Tennessee. It's New Orleans. Hey. So Sorry. Anything you want to say about your apple box? Yeah. No, I'm just happy I have my apple juice. Thanks. It's called an apple box. That's all right, though. Okay. I'm here with Arvin. What's up? Arvin, where was the birthplace of jazz? Of jazz? New Orleans. That would be correct. All right, guys. I'm here with DVTV's own Jack Cashersmith. So, Jack, where was the birthplace of jazz? New Orleans. Correct. All right, guys, I'm here with the infamous Cat Shutter. Now, Cat, where was the birthplace of jazz? I have no idea. Take a guess. I don't know. Take a guess. Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras? <laughs> I have no idea. No, I couldn't tell you. Take a guess. Where's Mardi Gras? Guys, I'm out. I don't know. <laughs> That's just wrong. It's wrong. New wait, 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 wait. New wait. Orleans! New Thanks to all of our contestants for participating today. I'm Hannah Cohen. And I'm Dan Levinson. We'll see you next time. Wow, looks like a lot of people know their facts about jazz, but here's something people may not know. How to make monkey bread. DIY teaches us how.
Mm -mm -mm, that looks delicious. I'll have to make it when I have some free time. But in the meantime, these next contestants could grab a quick snack if they could actually open them. Win it in a minute. Welcome back to Win It In A Minute. I'm your host, Matt Chirino. Let's get started. I'm here with Miss Lawyer and Miss Petro. Uh, they're here to perform Sweet Tooth. How do you feel? She's going down. How about you? I'm excited. That's good. Let's get to it. The name of the game is called Sweet Tooth. The two contestants have a minute to unwrap as many Starbursts as they can with gloves covered in Vaseline in a minute. Three, two, so one, go! Oh my gosh, Tia. It doesn't matter if you rip it, right? You have a minute to unwrap as many as possible. One, one. Oh, We're gonna have me. Uh, uh, uh. Miss Lawyer's got two. Oh, two, 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 two. She's cheating. Oh yeah, am I? Yeah. Oh, oh man. She has bigger nails than I do. Uh, looks like somebody doesn't have enough Vaseline on their gloves. Oh my. Uh, Miss Lawyer. This is gonna have to go under video review because I think Miss Lawyer's cheating. This is the fourth one. Ten seconds. I get one more. Five, four in Miss Lawyer's favor. Three, two. One, Time up. This one does not count. Doesn't count. The wrapper is not completely the off. Doesn't count. The one on the ground. One, so, two, three, four, five. Six. One, one six. two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's put the hands in. The winner is. I'm not touching that hand. <laughs> there. <laughs> Miss Lawyer is the winner. Congratulations. Right, Thank you. Shake my hand. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, Miss Lawyer emerged victorious, six to four. How does that make you feel? I knew I was going to win. How does that make you feel? <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> Somebody's not happy. Let's see if someone can beat it next week, here on Win It In A Minute. Congratulations, Miss Lawyer, on the win. I think I would have just given up and taken off the gloves and eaten them all. All this talk about food is getting me hungry. Thankfully, this next segment has nothing to do with food. What's in the lot shows off Ricky Burgess's Sweet Ride. I'm Ricky and this is my 1998 Subaru Legacy GT. That's a 2.5 liter dual overhead cam, uh, four cylinder. I have an intake. Um, you come over here, I have a lightweight crank pulley. It's red, matches everything. I have a red and black theme going on. So I painted all the all the trim by hand myself. It took a while. Uh, I, I have some mud flaps there, makes it faster. You know, about like 10 horsepower or so. So I have a uh, cat back exhaust here, just uh, from the catalytic to converter back. It's all all new and a, a new muffler with a three inch diameter outlet. Uh, I get. I have about 148,000 miles there. Really, really need gas. That's important. And I get about uh, 20 miles to the gallon, which isn't a whole lot, but it's better than some. Thanks for checking out my '98 Legacy.
What a spiffy car, Ricky. And that's it for us. Time for this show to hit the road. Remember to tune in every Friday for a new episode. For early exclusive access, subscribe to our channel. From everyone here at DVTV, I'm Connor Mills, signing off.